Gun Show. Hello. They say one of the most popular dreams of woman is that of being a perfect wife. And that if it isn't, it should be. For tonight, we've selected a woman in Japan, the wife of a fisherman. Let's see what her dreams are. Fisherman is home. He drags his feet like the grandfather of the village. Good evening, Mr. Arikawa. Good evening. I have a chill. Oh? Is Kodasa prepared? The coals are hot. Oh, good. Young Taro came here out of breath to tell me you had injured your back. Yet you walk straight as a reed. Your back is better? No. Oh. <sighs> Taro stayed only long enough to tell me you wanted the kotatsu heated. He did not tell me how the accident occurred. Oh, I was praying in the net and fell into the sea. I'm tired. So tired. The work is too much for me now. You talk like the grandfather of the village, too. Yes, Kiku. The day is near when I shall retire from the boat. Retire? A fisherman retire? What nonsense is this? I have earned the rest. Taro will... Learn to manage the boat. I sent him out for the evening catch to test him. I see. But if you retire at your age, what will you do with all of your energy if you do not fish every day? The energies I have left will lift my pipe and see me through a game of checkers in the afternoon. Who is this old man? Can a man leave his house in the morning, your husband? And return that evening, your father? We'll now enjoy a pleasant life together, Kiku. I look forward to the leisurely days. Leisurely days? I can see you now, my fisherman. Day by day with nothing to do. Living with you would be like sitting on the edge of Mount Fuji, waiting for the fatal eruption. Kiyoshi, you are such an agile man. All the years you have been on a boat, You've never had an accident. How did this one occur? Oh, I was uh, studying Taro. He lifts his net differently. Mm -hmm. Looks very easy. So I tried it and... <laughs> fell into the sea. My arms do not have his strength. So it is not your back that is strained. It's your pride over the feats of your young apprentice. I'll bail now. With Taro, my husband, compete with your brains, not your back. The head alone improves with age. Arikawa, it is almost dawn. You have not slept? No. It's my back. Oh. I see. Kiyoshi. Never before have you injured yourself in any way. Never before was I at such an age. Or could it be that you work better alone? 
You are used to handling the nets yourself in your own special methods. Could it be that other hands only get in your way? I'm the one who is in the way. As Taro said, I'm not needed on the boat. Taro works harder than any of the other fishermen's helpers. True. He drives himself. And for what reason, I wonder? Momo will not marry him till he has money enough saved for a house. Ah, a woman, of course. I should have known. Momo is very young and very ambitious. Yes. Well, it is good for Momo to push her man, as I must push mine. My husband must not be robbed of the pleasure of his work. I'll be in presently. Tomorrow, I will send the would-be thieves on to other pockets. Good evening, Oksa. Good evening. Mr. Arikawa has gone to the sake tavern. So now the way home is through the sliding doors of the Akibono. He has left the pearl in my good hand. I have something else for those good hands of yours, Taro. This paper. My. What fine fish. I will wrap a few to take home for the evening meal. Amazing. It is truly amazing. I say to myself, it cannot be true, and yet here it is in the Tokyo paper. Do you read, Tara? Yes, Oksa. Also, I speak English. Momo is teaching me. Oh, you are an accomplished couple. You will do well when you marry. Thank you. See here. Is this not interesting? Carpenter's assistant and construction laborer wanted. 18,000 yen per month. Hey, mm -hmm. no experience required, age 20 to 30, excellent physical condition required, apply Tokyo Construction Company. Mm-hmm. He can see himself building the new skyscrapers of Tokyo and bringing the money home for his bride to manage. Yes, Soksa, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And see, right below... Women wanted to work in sewing machine factory. 8,000 yen per month. Mm -hmm. Now he is figuring. 18,000 for himself, 8,000 for Momo, 26,000 yen together. They can save enough to buy a house and a boat in a very few years. Imagine, a young couple can make 26,000 yen per month. Yes, Soksan, truly amazing. No wonder the young people are leaving their ancestral villages and moving to the city. With such opportunities, who can blame them? No. Well, I am finished here. I will leave the paper for you to fire the galley with. Thank you. I can see it has already started a fire in you. Now go kindle the spark in Momo, and the two of you carry your flaming torches to the city and leave us alone. So, there are noises in the kitchen. They have both gone to Tokyo. I pray. 
pray, Kojin Suma, God of Kitchen, all have luck today. Taro, Momo, but most of all, Mr. Arigawa. Good morning. Good morning. What is this? A note from Taro. Oh? I am truly sorry, but I must go to Tokyo to work. Nandakura! Read on. So that someday I too will own a boat and a small house of my own. You have been good to me. <laughs> I will remember your kindness always. Momo and I will marry, and our first man child shall be called Kiyoshi. Curse on them. Maybe a union be childless. No, Kiyoshi. No one knows better than we the bitterness of such fate. We wish them many men children. I'm pleased that they come to visit us here. They'll not be welcome here. Never has the Sabbath season been so good. For Taro to leave me like this, will bring him bad luck for the rest of his years. For he has no loyalty. He is young, Kiyoshi. And they have modern ideas. Taro is a fisherman. She knows very well that I can't take the boat out alone. Oh, so. I'll sell it. This is a clear sign from the gods to sell the boat and retire this very day. Sell the boat? When the sea is so full of saba? I cannot manage without a helper. And every fisherman in the village is busy filling his own net. I will get you a helper. Where? There is not a green man within miles. First I will serve you your breakfast. Then I will meet you here within the hour. With a helper. Impossible! Mrs. Arikawa, what is that you have with you? Surely not the help you went to fetch. This is Kenzo. He's from the orphanage. He said he would like to help us in our need. A nice thought. But there's not enough of him to help. An old man and a small boy? What kind of catch could we bring in? I will help, too. The three of us will fish together. Like Ito and his wife and son. Ito's son is 13 and a born fisherman. Boy, have you ever been on the boat? No, sir. He'll fall overboard. You'd get seasick and my back would give out. Oh, I would not disgrace the pearl with such a crew. I would not get seasick. Then I will not fall overboard. Kenzo is very bright and I am willing. You tell us what to do, we'll do it. We will do it well and fast. <laughs> Small hands filled with love can perform giant tasks. By noon, those small hands will be filled with giant bristles. Ah, huh, so? Tell us what to do, please. Please? This is a pure mockery, but have it as you will. Ah. We'll go to the boat. Boy, get the lobster cage. Mrs. Arikawa, get the fish. Hack, hack, hack. Not good. It tastes good, too. Your wash water is there. Thank you. You are happy with us? Very happy. The fishing is not too much for you? No. I'm sorry I'm not much help, but every day I'm getting stronger. You are a big help. This morning, Mr. Arikawa told me I was no longer needed on the boat. He said you two men can manage for the rest of the season. Ah, good. The fisherman said a woman has a bad luck on a boat. Oh? The sea is jealous. She does not like other women around. No. And I am most happy to leave the boat to my men. Mm. 
Mrs. Arkawa? Mm -hmm. How can I call you besides Mrs. Arkawa? Could I call you Obasan? Obasan? Perhaps. I would, of course, like to address you and Mr. Arkawa as Okasa Nadotosa. Okasa Nadotosa? Would that be proper? I could not answer such a question. That you must ask of the head of the house. I would also like to ask him how long I'm to stay with you. Oh, no, that you must not ask. Not now. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Mr. Arikawa. The boy has a question he wishes to ask of you. Yes, boy? I have been here more than a month. I would like to call you other than Mr. Arikawa. Oh, what would you suggest? Otosan? I'm not your father. No. Perhaps Ojisan? I'm not your uncle. No. You are Mr. Arikawa. Yes. And when the season is over, I will sail the boat, and Mr. and Mrs. Arikawa are going to retire to the hot springs, and you are to return to the home. Now, Kenzo, yes. pack a few things. We are taking the boat out for several days. Yes, Mr. Arikawa. Do not be sad, my son. He fights you because he's afraid of you. He does not know you have already infected him. After a few days alone with you on a boat, he will return, raging with father fever. Kenzo. Yes? When you are out with Mr. Arikawa, anything you do not understand, ask him, please, to explain. Y yes, Mrs. Arikawa. What man can resist dropping pearls of wisdom to a small boy? Good. My men are home. The boy begins to walk like Kiyoshi. They carry the nets home. This means the Saba has headed out to sea and the season is over. And now is the time appointed by my fishermen to sell the boat. Oh, my husband, you have many decisions to make. What will you do with a boy who begins to look like you? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome home, fisherman. You did well? Very well. Good. But now the summer of less and the season is over. Oh? What price will you ask for the boat? The price? For the boat? Oh, I, I do not know. I never thought of it. Or is it that you have thought so much about it you cannot make up your mind? I will help you. You were tired, Kenzo? It was very exciting reading on a boat. Yes, you will have many stories to tell back at the orphanage. Yes. Yes, yes. He'll have stories when it is time for him to go back. Now, Mrs. Arco. <sighs> But the season is over, Mr. Arikawa. <coughs> Are we not now free to go on our tour? Kenzo, attend to the nets. Yes, Ojisan. Ah, so? He calls him uncle. All is done but the putting of it into words. He will start. Kiku, I have been thinking. I have been thinking such a tour would cost a great deal of money. Mm -hmm. But as you have said, we are old and there is no one to lead it to. True. That is what I was thinking about, particularly. 
Perhaps we could uh, do some good with our remaining years. With the money that's true of the cost, we could give a child a home. That would be a very noble thing to do. If we weren't so old. Well, I could not retire completely. With one more mouth to feed, I would have to take the boat out at least uh, once a week. That would not be too much on you? Well, my back is better, and Kinzo is a great help. He's a born fisherman. Oh. I would like to think the pearl will be his someday. What do you think, Kiku? My thoughts are your thoughts. Ah, good. Tomorrow, I'll go to the city building, to the Kosek Tohon department, mm -hmm. and have them take out the Arika family register. I'll enter Kenzo's name, beneath our own. Yes. Send the boy to me. I'll tell him the news. <laughs> Tomorrow, he can go to the orphanage and bring to his new home whatever is his. Yes, Mr. Arikawa, and I will help him. have you here? Did you return with the whole orphanage? Oh, no, Tosan. You just told me to bring only what was mine. This is my brother, Byonzo. He's five years old. It is good to meet you, Tosan. I will be a fisherman too, please. And this is Kenzo's sister, Tama. She is just one year. Mrs. Arikawa. Yes, Mr. Arikawa. I cannot feed such a family on fishing once a week. Oh, no. No, I realize that. We will work very hard. And you will have to stay young and strong to take care of us all. I am so happy oh. over the prospect. Or not you. I will think about it. Is this our house, Otosan? It is our house, yes. May we go in, please? Yes, yes. Let us go in. We'll see if we all can fit. You are a good man, Kyoshi Arikawa. You will make good men out of these boys. And this girl? I will teach you to cook and to carry and to make your way quietly in this man's world. We believe that Mrs. Arikawa is an excellent example of the biblical quotation, be as wise as a serpent and as gentle as a dove. Well, good night. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>